Church in person online, if you refer it online on this second Sunday after Pentecost. Um, there will be a not very long vestry meeting after this. Um, the reason for the vestry meeting is that we're going to have a Zoom meeting coming up Wednesday at four o'clock with Father Scott Vianna of the Diocese about the priest search. Um, so that's the uh, story there. We'll have uh, morning prayer the next couple of Sundays with a patriotic theme, as you might imagine, on July 3rd. Um, and keep in mind also that the fish boil, uh, as has usually been the case, will be Friday, July 22nd. It will again be part of the uh, Platteville uh, Regional Chamber Hometown Festival Week. They have already asked us, are you doing it? Are you doing it? And so I've said twice, yes, we are. So um, with all that in mind, let us worship God together, beginning with him 423.
Make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call on my name. I held out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices. A people who provoke me to my face continually sacrificing in gardens and offering incense on bricks, who sit inside tombs and spend the night in secret places, who eat swine's flesh with broth of abominable things in their vessels, who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day long. See, it is written before me, I will not keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their laps their iniquities and their ancestors' iniquities together, says the Lord, because they offered incense on the mountains and reviled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps full payment for their actions, thus says the Lord. As the wine is found in the cluster and they say, do not destroy it for there is a blessing in it. So I will do for my servants sake and not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah inheritors of my mountains and my chosen shall inherit it and my servants shall settle there. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Yes, Thanks nice be God. to God. The psalm today can be found in your bulletin. Uh, we will read it responsibly, beginning and ending with the response. Be not far away, O Lord. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save, Save me from the sword. My life and power Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line, give glory. For he does not despise, nor afford the poor in the poverty. And he does not hide his face from him. But only I cry to him, fears him. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The Lord shall be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. The kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. Be not, not far away, away O Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Second lesson is from Galatians chapter 3. Now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore, the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came, so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. For in Jesus Christ, you are, are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have closed yourself with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks God. 
in 404. disciples arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you done to me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. Many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demons into the wind. A wild. Jesus then asked him, what is your name? He said, Legion. For many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herds saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened, and when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, 
return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him, all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. prayers of the people. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world, we pray fervently as we watch war continue in the Ukraine. We pray for the families <clears throat> and the victims of the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. We ask for your grace and peace to rule in the hearts and minds of all involved. For all the work of justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation and for others, we especially pray for Joe, Mary, Audlin, and Matthew, for Faye, Scott, Steve, Peggy, and Bill, for Bob, Abby, Catherine, Carolyn, and David, for Wes, Betty, Rich, Doris, and Linda. For Naomi, June, and Ellen. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O King, our God, O God, our King. And I praise you, Lord, forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. We put their trust in you. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hymn 441.
Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.